To begin, launch the Logitech G Hub software. You can use other softwares, but this is preferred. After launching the software, go to Assignments. After going to Assignments, locate the Macros tab. We will be creating a macro to fire the M1A fully automatically. Click on Create New Macro and name your macro. I preferred the name Rapid Fire. You'll want to choose whether you would like to toggle or repeat while holding. I chose repeat while holding. Now you want to record keystrokes. Whilst recording your keystrokes, left click your mouse once. Your goal is to have the display show the same as mine. Left click with a down arrow and a left click with an up arrow with no delay time in between. If you do manage to leave delay time in between the click, do not worry, we will be artificially editing it. Our goal is to put about 10 to 20 milliseconds of delay time from the press down to the release up of the left click. The delay time may need to be tuned depending on the weapon and game you are playing. After using the macro, change the delay time at your discretion. After you record your keystroke and edit your delay time, you will be asked to set your macro to one of the buttons on your mouse. I set my macro on the DPI up adjustment button. The placement of this macro is nice because you can quickly get to it from the left click. I highly recommend avoiding setting the macro to your primary left click. Doing so can cause a host of issues. If you do not have buttons on your mouse, there is other ways to set macros with your keyboard. Follow the same steps as before, but set the macro to a hotkey on your keyboard. I am not aware if this is against the terms of service of Escape from Tarkov or other games. If you decide to do this, please do it at your own discretion. I think my trigger finger is rather fast and I can keep up with the macro in my mind. In the clips shown, the first clip of shooting will be from my trigger finger and the second will be from the macro. You can see the difference in not only speed, but accuracy. When having a firefight at a long range, you may notice that the macro leaves you in kind of a rut. This is where game sense and situational awareness has a huge role. Make sure not to rely on the macro too much, especially at long range. The macro is great with the M1A, but it's even better with any other semi-automatic as well. The shooting with the Glock may not be the best representation, but I think it's very apparent that the macro helps keeping your sight on the target whilst delivering fast fire rate. This tutorial may not have turned out as clear as I wanted it to be, so if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments below. The macro benefits the SVD highly. The fire rate and the accuracy on the SVD while using the macro is clearly better than when using your trigger finger. If this helped you stay on target and shoot faster, please hit the like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe as I plan to make more videos.